Well, if like old mate you run multiple different operating systems on a daily basis, such as Mac OS, various Linux distros, various Unix distros and Windows, somewhere in that whole mess of machines, you've got a Samba configuration. Especially if you need your Windows machine to talk to various Linux and or Unix based uh, machines, VMs, whatever. But when it comes to configuring Samba, there's the legitimate documented correct way of doing it and then there's the everyone looks down on you like you're a complete idiot way of doing it however a suite of tools of made available from gadman makes life so much easier configuring samba G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. I want to talk about Gadman Samba. Now this is part of a suite of tools available from Gadman via Synaptic Package Manager. Okay, now this is where I know I'm gonna get yelled and screamed at because I'm promoting something that the purists would have you believe is a completely illegitimate way of doing Samba. Okay. You look up on the internet, here on YouTube, you Google it, whatever, the legitimate correct way of creating and editing a Samba file sharing configuration. What is it? Exactly. It's in Unix, various Unix distros. It's um, sudo vi slash etc slash Samba slash smb.conf. In Linux, it's sudo nano slash etc slash samba slash smb.conf, and you do it through the terminal or a text editor of some sort. That for years has been the correct, documented, legitimate way of doing it. However, Gadman Samba and Gadman's tools make life a lot easier especially if you are someone who works in a GUI environment. My personal opinion is, it doesn't matter how you create and or edit those Samba shares. You don't have to do it through the terminal. Even though the purists say, if you don't do it through the terminal, you cheat, I don't have a problem with it. Now, I've blown away my Gadman configuration here on my MX Linux VM because I don't want to pass off all my details. But I've been using Gadman since Paul Turner's Hybrid X when I found it again because I've, I've forgotten about Gadman tools. And Gadman Samba makes life so much easier. A hell of a lot easier. Now, some purists out there are going to have a pot shot at me for promoting a, a suite of tools that is basically a shortcut to configuring Samba. I work in a GUI environment, both with Linux, Unix, Windows, day in, day out. So if I can find a set suite of GUI tools that makes it easier, I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. Simple as that. Gadman Samba, 0.2.9, 0.2.9. Now, this is what I like about Gadman, all right? Instantly from when I installed it, it knew exactly what Samba was running. It knew where everything was configured. It knew the whole lot off the bat. But if you are one of these people who still prefers to do things through the actual CONF file, you can from within Gadman. And you can review your configuration. Okay, so let me show you how all this works. Okay, now Gadman's suite of tools via Synaptic Package Manager, there are heaps available. Suffice to say, you can actually set up, I could set up MX Linux right now as a full PDC if I wanted to, with Microsoft ADDS. All right, 
However, you do that, the purists will clobber you because you've actually used a GUI tool to cheat. I love people who get into people who use GUI tools to make life easy. <laughs> okay, so here we are in my beloved MX 17.1. The server host name, you can call this whatever. Okay, I've got a name for it, but I'm not going to broadcast that here on YouTube. You can comment it. So you can either have it as a file and a print server. You can just have it as a Samba file server. Whatever you need it to be. All right. Workgroup or domain name. Now, if your Linux machine is in a domain, okay, you would put the domain name in there. Okay. And then the security level. And look at this. Active Directory. Full Active Directory implementation. Okay, now before we continue, the purists are screaming now because how dare I promote a program in a GUI environment to configure Samba. You can have it as a primary domain, a backup domain, or just user level security. All right? You can set up your host allowed, your handled connections, what you want the server to announce to, what you want the server to retrieve the announcements from. So... In this case, it would be announcing to the entire FQDN. You'd be pulling it from dot zero. Okay. Print cap path. Where's it got to go? Automatically load printer list. Okay. Samba log files. Username. All this. Look at it all. Okay. Win server. Act as a DNS proxy if necessary. Okay. You got Pam down there too. Look, Pam password change, password chat timeout, host name lookout, Samba username file. Okay, which you can do all this. So you know when you actually create a Samba share, then you've got to create the username and the password. This does it all in one program. You're not having to do multiple lines of code and everything. You just do it in one hit. All right. As you can see at the moment, it is deactivated. Because to make this video, I've pulled MX off the domain uh, because I wasn't going to pass on my entire file sharing platform. Uh, Windbind separator, case timeout, everything like this. The, the, this just is a great, easy to use, right? Set up your users, all right? User, group, home directory, comment. So I can actually reset. On, now, I've, like I said, I've blown away this. When I go to put this back on, I'll reset it back how it's got to be. Username and password, what group it's part of, the comment for that group, the home directory, and the shell, which as you can see here is slash null. Set up your sh home directory shares. Um, go up here. Add access permissions, add denied permissions. Directory mask, create mode, and you can see what you can do here. Read only, available, look at it all. You can change all this. Filter the machines as per what they need to be. Domain management, obviously it's not on my domain. This will also tell you who's connected. You know, the process ID, the user, the group, the client computer, the client address, the file in use at the time, right? That's your um, discovery of everything. Your security information. There's your Samba config. You can actually still edit it from in here if you wish. You don't have to. Now, whilst the purists are screaming their lungs out at me, since discovering Gadman back with one of Paul Turner's hybrid X spins, I've sworn by it. It's a great suite of GUI. Now, Gadman's entire suite, which is what I do want to show you, just quickly. We've got Gadman Open VPN Server. Okay. Gadman Samba, which is what I've got. You can set up rsync. Gadman tools. Server administration tools. Okay. Um, 
you don't have to get that if you don't want it, all right? Gadman Bind. GTK Plus configuration tool for Bind 9 platforms. And the debug tool. Now, I do not subscribe to the fact of you have to edit everything the old school way. Now, like I said, and I'm using console. Okay. The legitimate way of doing this is like that. Okay. You look up on the internet how to do Samba configuration, as I said, whether it be a Unix-based distribution or a Linux-based distribution, this is what you are told to edit. This is what you are told to edit, all right? I have no problem using this or any other GUI tool, but to be honest, Gadman makes life so much easier. It really makes life a lot easier because you've got, it's very easy to find. The other thing is it will print to the smb.conf path by default, wherever you put your SMB folder. Now, by nature, it ought to go in the ETC or the etc folder, but you can put it anywhere and this will write to it. You can start a new Samba configuration. So, and then once you've got everything configured, apply it. And off we go. Right? If you run a Linux server, I'd use Gadman. Actually, no, don't do that because you have the purest clob of you that you're running a Linux server with a GUI. I've got to say, this is one of the best Samba CIFS suite of GUI tools I've seen in a long time. In fact, to be honest, it's better than Open Man Driver's um, SMB sharing configuration tool that comes with Open Man Driver. Um, this is great. Go and have a look at it for yourselves. As I said, be aware because the purists will clobber you for using a GUI to configure what essentially is supposed to be done in a terminal window or a text editor. But this gives you a lot of minute control that is much easier to configure but also it shows you who's connected to the share at the time okay and I, I think it's great I don't have a problem with it so there we are Gadman Samba 0.2.9 uh, you'll find it in Synaptic Package Manager if I find a link uh, on the web I will uh, send you a link or I'll leave a link in the description below to Gadman's information. But guys, look, it just makes life easy. And if you can make your life easy when you're setting up SMB slash CIFS shares and a suite of tools like Gadman makes your life easy, old mate doesn't have a problem with it. And also, see, the other thing is I prefer to work in a GY environment anyway. I always have. Um, it just makes life so much easier easier if you've got a suite of tools like this so there we are gadman samba part of the gadman suite of tools available through synaptic package manager i think they've got a website if so i'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to go and check it out for yourselves stick around we're going to have our live stream conversation for a tuesday morning coming up very soon have a good one guys cheers